Hey guys, gonna be doing some final prep and then I think I'll be able to call this project done. Let's get started. Alright, this should be a quick video. Um, I need to go into the BIOS and make sure that uh, I have a couple things set the way that I want them. And uh, once I'm done with that, the only thing that would be left is to install Windows, uh, which that in and of itself is not very exciting. Um, so at any rate, uh, I wanted to come in here and make sure that the timing on my memory is set properly and that I have a couple of um, fan failure warnings enabled so that uh, if I have a problem with the couple of fans that I have in the case that are connected to the motherboard that I'm, I'm warned about that. Um, this is Gigabyte's 3D BIOS and you can see that there's a, a picture of a motherboard here and what's nice about this type of BIOS is that you can use your mouse to navigate and in Gigabyte's case you can mouse over uh, the different sections of the motherboard and then clicking on that will take you to the appropriate section. Uh, so if you wanted to change your uh, power settings, uh, do some system tuning, uh, mess around with your expansion slots, so checking your uh, connected PCI device bus speeds and options to enable or disable individual PCIe and PCI expansion slots. So basically uh, you have uh, control over your different uh, devices and you can just mouse over where you need to go, click on it and that would take you where, where you need. Um, up here in the top right you see that our processor is running at the correct speed, 3.3 gigahertz, and our RAM is uh, running at its rated speed at about 1600 megahertz, so that's all good. Uh, I'm actually going to go over to the advanced tab and uh, I was in here previously uh, I wanted initially to make sure that the memory timings were set properly and if I come over to the section here there we go by default the XMP uh, or extreme memory profile settings were disabled. Uh, XMP is a, a way for the memory that you have installed to communicate to the motherboard to let it know what its timing setting should be. Uh, assuming of course that your memory supports that and that your motherboard does uh, and in my case of course they do. Uh, but because this was disabled uh, if when we looked at the timing uh, these were all incorrect. Uh, so the memory that I have installed is rated for 99924 but when the extreme memory profile was incorrect or disabled I should say the timings were wrong. Uh, I would have had or I could have had the opportunity to come in here and set them manually uh, but because I have XMP uh, I just turned it on and then of course all the timings were set properly. The other thing I wanted to do was uh, make sure that uh, I had my um, fan warnings set properly. So in PC health status I came down here and made sure that my CPU fan and my second system fan, which are the only two fans I have connected to the motherboard, so you can see here and here, that I enabled the um, fan failure warning. So that way if they do fail, then we'll be notified. Outside of that, there's really nothing more to do here. Um, I think from a overall project perspective, I think we're all set. Uh, this was a pretty neat project to do. I've been wanting to do this for a while and um, you know I think my wife's gonna get a nice upgrade. Uh, as far as next steps really the only thing left to do is install Windows and you know the handful of programs that she needs. And yeah, I may or may not do a post build overview because uh, I think this is pretty straightforward. We'll see how it goes. And that's it. So uh, thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.